And we're back with more behind the scenes. And now we're talking to our newest model, Vivian Rubin. So nice to have you. Thank you for having me. Vivian, this is your first Marciano campaign. Congratulations. Yes. Thank you so much. It's crazy that I'm here. It's exciting, right? Super exciting. And it's like a dream come true, to be honest. Well, you definitely look like a guest girl. I'll have to say Thank that. Thank you. <laughs> so how did you end up finding out you got the campaign? Well, I was working um, on an e-commerce shoot last week. And then on the last day, Paul came through and I guess he saw the images. And then the next day I got a text saying like, are you free next week for a campaign? And I'm like, yes, I am. Thank if you. If I wasn't free, I will make myself free. Exactly, exactly. So, so it was sweet. really exciting. It's very much like Paul and guests in general to text you and give you some news like that versus go through your agent or your manager. And Absolutely. And it feels like a family. It was such a surprise and I was so honored. And I still, like I said, I still can't believe that I'm here. Here, so oh it's well you definitely fit in Thank in the family <laughs> but I always think it's so neat that Paul reaches out directly I think the first time I booked a campaign he actually called me and told me and it's, it's just really sweet it is it really makes you feel included and you're actually talking to the person that has the vision for his own company and his own brand and it's nice to know that you fit in you know right. you fit into that whole vision it's less of a business arrangement where your agent's emailing you than like, it's like, welcome to the family. Exactly. And that's actually something he told me on the last day of the shoot too. He's like, so how does it feel being part of the family? And I felt like that. So it's, it's amazing. So was it a goal of yours to shoot for guests at some point or did you just fall into it? I mean, yes and no, you know, it was always in the back of my head, but it was a dream right. of mine, you know, and sometimes when you're thinking about things, you're like, yeah, that's like, it'll be great to have that, but it's never gonna happen. Yeah. And then when it did, I was, I mean, I'm still kind of like, I really don't believe that I'm here. I'm like, is this really Pinch happening? Pinch myself. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. So how did they end up finding you? Paul found me on Instagram and he reached out. This was funny because it was like a year ago. So he's been trying to get me in for a while. And at the time I was, you know, doing other work and I, I really had no time to focus on branching myself out to other brands and arenas of your career. Exactly. Yeah. And then when the time came, you know, it happened. And I think timing it is everything. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. It, uh, it's interesting now, like 10 years ago, unless you somehow got your agent to get you in the door for a casting, mm -hmm. it would be impossible. But now Paul's found so many girls, just the internet, yeah. I mean, Instagram, all these things. It's so crazy organically and like seeing something and watching their videos or seeing a little bit. Absolutely. It's a way to showcase your personality more versus just opening a portfolio and going through it. Of course. And you know, with agencies too, they have their own type that they like to to choose. And right. here you're you have an array of different looking people. And nowadays you want that. You know, you want to feel like your brand is inclusive of everybody. And I think it's beautiful that, you know, we have a platform that can can right. give support brands and, and give that to people. Yeah, and show what you bring to the table Absolutely. and your humor, your hobbies. It's yeah. really interesting. Yeah. It's funny because I started with guests seven years ago mm -hmm. and Paul actually found me on Instagram also. That's so and he messaged me on Instagram saying, you know, I'm Paul. And I'm thinking, yeah, right, this is a fake account. It's when Instagram <laughs> kind of was first starting and yeah. he didn't have a ton of followers. I'm like, there's no way this is Paul Marciano. And then he called me and I was like, oh my gosh, this is Paul Marciano. And he called me on my cell phone and my daughter was a baby at the time. And she, I was babysitting someone else's baby and the babies are screaming in the background and I'm going, I'm on the phone. <laughs> so it was That's really crazy. cool feel like, you know, I remember even as a kid growing up and seeing the guest girls, they were always different than what yeah. you see anywhere else. And I felt more connected with them because there are girls that look like me, you know, they're a little bit more curvy, a right. little bit more, you know, voluptuous and, but they were gorgeous and they were beautiful and they're iconic. So what did you think about the set and the clothes when you came in today? Um, it's beautiful. I mean, this place is insane. You feel like you're in a palace and every clothes you put on and when you get on set, you feel like rich, you know, yeah. like um, it, it for sure captures like this whole holiday vibe. And I mean, the clothes are beautiful. Yeah, you look killer in this red suit. They're, they, Marciano's kind of known, I personally think for like a killer trouser pant, you'll mm -hmm. see as you wear it, it's like, they're never fail. Everybody on set, we're like, oh, we want that, we want that. Yeah. So you've had a sneak peek now of the holiday campaign. Mm -hmm. What particular pieces do you have your eye on? 
Um, for sure, the pantsuit. I mean, when I put this on, it it like gave me the right, you know, curves in the right places. Yeah. But also the dresses. The dresses are beautiful. Yeah. The coats, like the faux fur coats, are amazing. And honestly, they've been some of my favorite for years. Actually, I used to always buy them because they. First of all, they're warm they, and they look beautiful and they sit beautiful. And I would say, yeah, for sure, the pantsuit and the, the coats. They do the great dresses. faux fur. Yeah, the faux fur is amazing. Amazing. I don't know where they get the faux fur, but the faux fur at Marciano and Guest is the best. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows that. If, from everything, like the actual fur to the lining to the stitching, everything is perfect. So we'll be seeing you in a power suit and some fur this winter. Absolutely. Faux fur. Yeah, absolutely. When you got the call mm -hmm. that you were gonna be shooting the campaign, mm -hmm. be honest, what did you do to prep before? Honestly, I didn't do much because I don't like to get too into my head. Yeah. When I did get the call, I, I did cry. I got the text and I was like, I couldn't believe it. And I, it took me like a few minutes to respond back. Yeah, and I, I cried and I called my mom and I'm like, mom, you won't believe what happened. She's like, oh my God, don't tell me I'm gonna get a heart attack right now. <laughs> like, please don't get a heart attack because then I'm gonna literally yeah. pass out myself. I couldn't believe it. And I don't like to prep for things. I like to go in like as me. And if I right. think way too much about it, it's, it's not gonna turn out. I feel well. the same. I like to go in as me, but maybe just a little tanner. Me? <laughs> yeah. I mean, well, I got my nails done, yeah, of, course. of course. The great thing about shooting for gas is sometimes I would get campaign shoots and I would kind of panic like, okay, I need to really like slim down. I need to watch what I'm eating and mm -hmm. the pressure of that. But with this brand, it's always been very healthy bodies. We want you healthy, rested, exercise, but it's like when you're well fed and well rested, you're beautiful. Yeah. And 100%. that was more their thing. And their clothes are built for curves and a, a woman's body, not a little girl's body. And that was always something I really meant a lot to yeah, me. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I I, think that's also kind of where everything is going now too. You know, we're seeing more models that look like grown women right. and they're flaunting their curves and they're beautiful. When you see even, I mean, today I wore this long, beautiful red gown. And when you see a woman that has curves, it, it just visually looks yeah. more pleasing, you know? And not saying that there's anything wrong with not having curves right. or anything, but you know, for a long time, there was this stigma of like, you know, girls okay, that yeah. are more curvy, shouldn't model, you know? And I think that guest really opened the doors for that to be a little bit more. Even at a time where in the 90s, it was like that very kind of almost chic, really, really, really kind of thin girl they were doing for mm -hmm. a while. And I think he continued on his path of healthy, fit, energetic girls, which has been really great to Absolutely. see. Absolutely. Yeah. Guest girls are known for being like iconic. You kind of see one and you know, like, wow, she's very guest girly. Like we all have an image of that guest image. What is guest to you? Image wise, I would say anytime I see an image that's very kind of like Sophie Loren, I always think of guest. Yeah. The hair, the curls, the winged liner, black and white images, curvier girls, all of that kind of screams guest to me. I think that's, that's what I connect with guests. I totally yeah. agree, yeah. It all has kind of a retro feeling to it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Marciano's more classy and timeless and elegant, and then I feel like Guess is just Americana almost. Mm -hmm. I mean, across the board, Europe, it's it's everywhere, but it's very like kind of Americana, denim. I don't know, it just feels classic. It is very classic. Yeah. It is very classic. I think, and anybody around the world can can point out Guess. Like they'll see an image and they're like, yeah, yeah, that's, that's a Guess Absolutely. guest campaign or a guest girl or you know with marciano for sure it's more elegant but it still has the the essence of guests in it i kind of feel like it almost is guests with a little bit of a sometimes i get like that disco feel to it like a little bit of a 70s chic feel which yeah. i love studio 54 kind Absolute, of a glam I was that today yeah That's so funny yeah. yeah it's really fun this is your first campaign. Yes. What do you see for your future? More campaigns, hopefully. Fingers Absolutely. crossed. I mean, I've I've had so much fun in the past two days, and I mean, just being around creative people and creating with them. It's that's what I love to do. So hopefully, more of that in the future. Absolutely. And you'll see your career will change after this, like everyone else's does. Yeah. I mean, those images come up and those billboards come up, and it's things crazy. things are going up in a different way, and it's it's really it's wonderful experience. Yeah, I'm excited. I can't wait. I'm I like I said I still feel like I'm in a dream. You are a little bit. <laughs> Pinch me. But welcome to the family. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, Rachel.
thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoy the holiday 2020 Marciano campaign.